podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Hey there, it's Mike. Welcome to the show. It's fun. It's called Mike's Daily Podcast. That's why they say Mike's Daily Podcast. And this is F- 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 episode 1986. 1986, that year, to me, was all kinds of mix. It was a mix of things is what it was, is what I'm trying to say. There was people that I was knowing that I would know to this very day because of the high school and when we graduated. Mike's Daily Podcast. A lot of us stayed friends and said, let's be buds forever. Mike's But today, Daily I am so podcast. happy to say that yeah. 1986 was a year where we had, let's see, the song... That was the big that was the big year cuz I graduated from oh that was Van Halen trying to be Van Hagar. Do you remember that? People nowadays go, "Oh, Van Hagar, what a joke." But no, there were a lot of people that loved Sammy Hagar and his screechy wonderful voice. And the with him and Eddie Van Halen doing the guitar. Oh, but Eddie got really into synthesizers back then. So that was kind of a thing people were getting annoyed by. And then there was the, uh, uh, Janet Jackson All over the place Janet Jackson She was huge And Michael Jackson was starting to come out with bad I think that was the next year I graduated high school Went to UCSB And said I'm going to get in radio Because I would listen to the radio And hear this guy who did this he do voices He was on this top 40 station Playing all the big hit songs Like Lisa Lisa Cult Jam And uh, who else was big there Glenn Fry. Glenn Fry had the song The Heat Is On And that was getting played all the time And this guy would go Hey, I've got a gorilla in the in the studio with me How's it going, gorilla? I'm doing fine And he would do this voice thing And I thought it was the coolest, craziest And here's today's podcast picture Thing, and I rather enjoyed it And maybe that inspired what I do in radio today I don't know But it's been a long time Is what I'm trying to say 1986 And the podcast picture today is actually from last night There was this amazing moment I was walking in Downtown Oakland Well in the general area of Lake Merritt And there was This very cool sunset Happening And Basil was not there unfortunately But I took a look At this amazing sunset And I took a picture of it for you And Basil you can see it too MikeStaleyPodcast.com That's right, Basil Basil enjoyed the trip Up to Mount Shasta That we did He did stay in the car A lot of the time Although we would try and get him out As often as we could And let him sniff around And left the window down for him to smell Some of the amazing aromas of Of nature One of the things we did was we went to this performance in Mount Shasta. It was a guy and his daughter. His name is Joe Craven. And Joe is one of these guys that's all about trying to teach you music. If you feel like you have no musical skills whatsoever. He says, no, we do. All of us do. We all have... The potential to do music In fact he grabbed someone out of the audience And basically taught them how to play the violin He taught them how to play two notes And you know just play the two notes Over and over again And then he took his mandolin And started playing around the song And before you knew it It sounded like a great song That you could dance a jig to or something But he was an interesting guy He did a lot for the community And you know Shasta has a lot of How should we put this Hippies as I mentioned in the last show, hip ass! Get out of here! Get out of hip ass! And, you know, a lot of people, though, it's a, there's a community feel going on in Shasta. And Joe Craven, who lives there, I guess he lives there part time. He also li- uh, goes down to San Luis Obispo and Morro Bay in that area and has a camp where he teaches kids how to play instruments. But he was talking about since in town in Shasta, they knew. That he was a great musician And that he played the violin They said hey look Joe There was a guy That used to wave to everyone Who drove by on the main road Here in Shasta And well 
he had no place to live and he preferred not to have a place to live. He like, you know, like living out in the great outdoors, basically being homeless. And he would sometimes have people would help him and let him uh, uh, stay with them. And well, one day he was out there and he was it was it gets really cold in Shasta and he froze to death. He died. And so Joe was asked, can you play at his funeral? Uh, it's, you know, basically people are pitching in or giving money to for the funeral. We're going to bury him at the cemetery and we'd love to have you come out and play. And Joe's like, OK, I'll I'll be there. And Joe said that, you know, he wasn't best with his timing. He, you know, could be a little late, as a lot of artistic people are. And he showed up late. To the funeral He gets there He thinks he's got The right directions He gets to the What he, he Goes to this area Where he's got the um, He sees some people Out there They're, They've There's only two people left Everybody else has left And these two guys Have shovels And he's like Oh I, I guess they're The only ones left So they're off To the side And so he sees This mound of dirt That was just Dug up there And he goes over To the mound And he goes Okay I'm still gonna I promise to do this, so I'm going to do this. So he starts playing Amazing Grace, and he plays the most beautiful rendition he said he ever played. It was just awe-inspiring. He was inspired to play this song, and, and the two guys with the shovels came over and listened, and as he's playing the song, they start to cry a little bit, and... When he's done, the, the two guys, they slowly walked away. And as I'm walking outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike Staley podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley 10 today. And so he puts the fiddle back in the case and he starts to walk away. And as he walks away, he hears one of the guys say, that is the most amazing thing I've seen in 20 years of putting in septic tanks. Anyway, I don't know if that was a true story or not, but Cafe Anyway. That's where we are, is Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcaster Valley, it's in the last place on Earth. And septic tanks, by the way, is a big part of my world these days. Still haven't put the septic tank in at the house. Hopefully we'll do that this year. Gosh, it's not going to be cheap. But yes, the guy, there was, he was, he went to the wrong place. He played at a septic tank. Where they just put a septic tank in the ground He was not at the cemetery Isn't that sad? And no one actually died in this story But when he told that story Everybody in the room that he told the story to Laughed and That's that guy, Joe Craven Look him, look him up online He said some very interesting things One of the things he said was That You should not Okay Yesterday, someone I work with named Zach Blazin, and I'm saying his name because apparently he will never ever listen to this podcast, even though he knows I do a podcast. If he is listening to this podcast, wow, something just happened that never would have ever happened in ever. I don't think ever. But anyway, Zach said to me, Mike, we all know that you do this podcast just for yourself. And it doesn't really matter if anyone listens. And I go, oh, maybe someone listens. Maybe someone from another planet listens. <laughs> but this guy, Joe Craven, says, you know what? Do whatever it is that you want to express yourself with artistically. Do it. Because you might just inspire someone. You might just change a life, he said. No. It, 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 the cynical side of you says, no, that's not possible. No. You very well could change a life if you do something that you want to do that expresses yourself. Tell your story, he said. Tell your story. Don't we all have amazing stories to tell? And we need to express those stories either through music or writing it or art or whatever you come up with that's in a positive frame of mind. Okay. Anyway, I thought that was very helpful. This is a very seminal show, this 1986 show F -F Episode 1986 I'm just so happy to do this show for you today Even though I gotta run in a minute Because there's a broadcast happening At uh, some kind of home real estate place That I have to help with the 
broadcast of Because I'm a busy guy And everyone is Mike Matthews is in demand Everybody look who's out here uh, Cafe anyway The last place on earth Located somewhere in Podcaster Valley Hi Mike It's for the real quick How y'all here Answer to this ground fiddle player Tell you what What I think I was on the last show I think you were I think we're messed up today Maybe this person's supposed to be here Hello, Michael Marshall. It's me, Madam Rutabago. Yes, I was supposed to be on the show, but it's good to see you, too. Thank you for being here. Yeah, it's good to see you, Madam Rutabago. Hi, Madam Rutabago. Good to see you, too, y'all. Madam, is it true that you are immortal? Yes, it is very true. Oh! Is it also true that you used to date Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Yes, that's also true. Yes. Is it true that you like being on Mike's show? Yes. Is it true that you took Mike's hair away? No. Well, there you go. Now that we cleared that up. Yes, so the other thing that Joe Craven said, this show is basically all about Joe. I was told my love, lovely lady friend I would call this show Joe, but then someone else who listens to the show whose dad's name is Joe, I think the show is about her dad and it's not, so we'll have to do another show for him. But maybe that show I'll call Joe. But this show I might call Seminole. We'll see. But Joe Craven also said life is you really live life. You start to live life when you get out of your comfort zone. Outside of your comfort zone, that's where you live life. His little sayings were a lot more interesting and and made people in the audience go, ooh, oh. Mine just probably made you go, eh, what? Eh, what? eh." Look who else is here right now. Cafe anyway. Hello, Dave Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do not. Mike, it's very interesting what you're saying there about art. Yeah, art. Do not. What do you guys think of Michael Bloomberg? Not a fan. Yeah, he's buying the election. Do not. It's very interesting. Somebody showed me the exchange between Bernie and Bloomberg at the uh, last debate. It's very interesting. And Bloomberg's got all his stuff with women that's not so good. Not not good about Bloomberg And they brought that up at the debate And then Bloomberg went after Bernie's socialistic tendencies And he's like oh, It's not socialistic It's not communistic It's about helping the people We're the biggest country in the world We need to help people I saw people that need help And I want to help them Because I'm Bernie Feel the burn Anywho I'm on the radio tomorrow morning. You can listen. I'm on 921 KKDV. You can hear it in the Contra Costa County area. Also, you can hear it online at kkdv.com. But tell me what you think about all these fascinating sayings we got from Joe Craven. I guess his band is called the Sometimers. I think I promoted the heck out of this guy. I think... We paid like 20 bucks to see this performance, by the way. So hopefully the money went to a good cause because he seems to be a good cause helping people out hey that's pretty much the end of the show i gotta run tell your friends about this show tell me what you think about the show you can call me 336 mm daily that's three plus three equals six mm as in mike matthews daily as in what this podcast almost was this week except for the little friday that got in the way got busy and ate greek food And it was a Greek restaurant where the guy actually came out, the owner, and talked to everybody and was super nice. And that made it made you feel like family. It was also pretty pricey. But you know what? It made me feel like I was with family. And that's cool. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Shelly Shuhart, Floyd, the floor man and John Deere, the engineer. You got to treat yourself sometimes. Uh, tell me what you think 336MM daily That's 3 plus 3 equals 6MM As in Mike Matthews daily As in what this podcast will try to be For the next two days at least It's Mike's daily podcast Sometimes it gets interrupted From time to time But we try to get back on track With the daily thing Okay, take it away, Ariel Mike's daily podcast is written and produced And performed by Mike Matthews His podcast is super easy to find Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdaily
podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.